right? And teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. Yeah. It does. That's yeah. a really big aspect of leadership in Crown and outside of Crown is uh, team building. It's it's not about you doing it all. You can do it all, maybe. I mean, I've been in the position where I did everything for a volunteer thing, and I stopped doing it before I got burnt out, generally speaking. But you, it, that will help you burn out even faster. So it's a really good idea to to learn how to build a consensus, to build a team, to allow other people the chance of uh, failing. But more often than not, they'll probably succeed, or at least partially. Uh, good enough for um, people to say, like, hey, you did a pretty good job. But it can be hard to let go of control for some people. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes it's uh, hard or something that someone will have to learn how to do as they move up in the uh, offices and stuff like that. Have either of you had problems with uh, letting control of a situation go to other people so it was more of a group effort? I, yeah. But part of my biggest issue in monarchy, and, you know, I'm experienced enough at this point that I know it's an issue that I have is delegation in like, I'll have these plans for things that I want to do and I want to be involved at every step and taking care of every little thing and every detail of it rather than shipping it off on somebody. So what happens is I'll end up doing half of it because I've got other stuff to take care of and you've got personal life and everything else. So it doesn't get done, you know? So being able to let go of some of that control is really important. Say you've got a contest that you really want to run as monarch or something I wanted to do as regent, you know, like the a photo contest, pictures, and, and that never got done because I just couldn't get around to doing it. If I had delegated and found someone that was interested in running that contest for me, you know, taking in the submissions and curating everything and getting all that figured out, it could have got done and it would have been really cool. But it just didn't happen because they didn't want to let go of that control. It's important because you'll get more stuff done and you'll feel better about it. It has the benefit of community building when you do that. Like if, for your example, if someone else ran the event for the the photo photography contest, not only do they get to um, have uh, a chance to lead and produce an activity for other people, um, the activity gets done so other people can participate. And so it's just more for the community to do and to be involved in. And mm -hmm. that's what people really like. That's what keep yeah. people around. I'm sure the battle games help. But, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that don't play battle games that still yeah. participate. And in that, was, that was the point is looking for things that the battle gamers or some the people that don't battle game, you know, looking for something for them to do. Yeah. That's important too. You got to think about what are the people on the sidelines going to do today. You know, thinking about that, chat or watch the battle games. That's cool too. Sometimes, but meal. If you're a regent, maybe plan a little class or a seminar or a little contest no. or something. Now I'm kind of thinking a photography contest where people are trying to take the best action shot or the best thing that exemplifies a battle game. So even yeah. if they're sitting along the sidelines, they have something to do besides just enjoy watching the game. <laughs>